Welcome back. You're watching Brand Equity and I'm Sonali Krishna. Now, Karsh Kali is a man who needs no introduction. But for those of you who haven't heard of him, Karsh is an Indian-American producer, composer and musician known for mixing Indian music with electronica. Kali has collaborated with some of the world's greatest musicians, including Sting, Nora Jones, Chaka Khan and Pandit Zakir Hussain. I caught up with Karsh to understand how the music business works today, given the YouTubes and MP3 free downloads of the world, and how musicians are coping with the new realities of the music business. Take it away. Thank you so much for joining us, Karsh. Truly a pleasure having you on ET Now and Brand Equity. Great. Thank you for having me. Talking about the music business, so to speak, uh, do you think uh, the way the music economy is currently uh, placed, it is actually conducive for fresh talent or even established talent uh, to actually thrive um, in the space that they're in? Um, I think that it's twofold. There's the opportunity nowadays for people to get heard is it's much easier. You know, obviously you can just, you can make a, a track and, you know, in your home or record something with your group or with your band and upload it on the many, you know, avenues that YouTube or SoundCloud and things like that and, and people will hear it. Um, what it's done to the industry um, is that there's no money in the industry because everybody, it, music has become a free commodity. Now. Exactly. So everybody, and, and this whole generation, you, you can't change their minds now. They, they've grown up getting music for free, like getting catalogs of music for free where we used to save up our money and wait until Friday to go to the record store and buy that one album yep. that we were waiting for. So yeah, that's what's, I think that's changed and that's, I think the, the whole business model needs to kind of reinvent itself now. And it, and it can. I mean, I think television has reinvented itself. Film is kind of reinventing itself. And music is hopefully will follow, right. follow suit. Right. But, you know, when you say that it's, it's, it's all practically free, which is true, like nobody really pays for music, what does that mean for people like you? Well, it, I, I have to say that my career probably wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the fact that people got music for free. Um, I came up at a, in a time when, I mean, my music came out but maybe the first two records were actually in record shops and then iTunes came out right. and everything went digital. Uh, my album actually was one of the first independent records to, it was the, the first independent record on iTunes. So what I've realized is that my f actual fan base are, is the generation who got it for free. Who, you know. Exactly. So, so I, I think now what we've, we focus on the live gigs. I mean, in terms of making a living. Yeah, in terms that's of, what I mean. Yeah. And it, it's, it's about the live shows. and. And being able to create that kind of audience where people will come to see a, sh a show. You know? Sure, sure. What is your take, uh, you know, and your critique really on the Indian music scene today, uh, compared to, uh, let's say, uh, the West? So, if you juxtapose the Indian music scene with the West, I know that's a bit unfair the comparison, but even then, I mean, in the last few years, we have seen a. a a decent improvement there are festivals we have more concerts happening and so yes there is some kind of traction we're seeing but even then if you're to critique it as as you know an industry there which is open to talent open to um, listening to new things uh, and has that concert culture really do you think uh, you know uh, there's th we have still a very long way to go I think so absolutely I'm I mean they're in there is really no music industry in, in India. It's a film industry. Yeah, that's you true. You know, that, that sells music. Yeah. Um, otherwise, in, in terms of independent music, I mean, if, you're a devo if you make devotional music, classical music, you know, that, that's always existed. Sure. Um, but for anything new, anything that's out of the box, um, that's what these festivals like NH7 yeah. and Sunburn and things like that, they're exposing audio huge audiences to artists that they normally wouldn't get access to. Not on the radio, not on television, nor on film. Right. So this is a new, it's a new avenue. Right. The industry has to catch up now. Right, right. Uh, Karsh, do you think it's also a bit ironic, given the fact that, you know, Indian culture and Indian music, if you go back in time, it's actually quite rich, mm. right? Uh, and we have some serious quality in our music. But if you look at the kind of music that is being consumed today at large and mass, uh, it's essentially Bollywood masala, right? Uh, which people are tripping on. Mm -hmm. uh, and somewhere, uh, that entire culture that we had is lost in translation. I think that, that exactly what you're saying is happening all over the world right, right? now. And uh, I mean, in fact, there, I don't think there's really a, a Bollywood style of music anymore. It, you, there was, um, and now it's just become pop music that sounds exactly like 
the pop music that's coming out of Korea and the pop music coming out of America and the pop music, it's all the same. Why they is use that? Because of technology. First and foremost, it's because everyone's using the same stuff to make music now. Oh, okay. You know, it used to be about the studio. It used to be about the environment. It used to be about the room you're recording in, things that gave music its diversity. And now everything sounds the same because everybody is using Pro Tools, Logic, Ableton Live, and they're making whether you're making techno music or you're making you know a Katy Perry album or you're doing a Bollywood movie, it's all the same. Right. You know, right. the thing is, is that what people in India don't put enough emphasis on is the background score, because that's where the real music is happening in films. Wow. Okay. You know, and, and and whereas in the states, the background score is 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 the music. Right. That's right. the where you know when somebody wins an Oscar for the music of a film, it's because they wrote the score. Sure. It's not because they wrote a song. Right, right. Thank you so much, Karsh. This was truly a pleasure and lovely speaking with you. Great. Thank you for having me.